Good morning, social media family. This is John DeLuca with Living Word uh, International Christian Church with today's thought, something to chew on for the day. During this time of uh, social distancing, stay in place, and national reset, everything's being reset, our economy, our health, our everything. The question I have for you, what are you preparing or prepping for? In Isaiah 40, one through five, it reads, comfort, comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem. Tell her that her sad days are gone and her sins are pardoned. Yes, the Lord has punished her twice over for all her sins. Listen, it's the voice of someone shouting, clear the way through the wilderness, says the Lord. Make straight the highway through the wasteland for our God. Fill in the valleys and level the mountains and hills, straighten the curves, and smooth out the rough places. Then the glory of the Lord will be revealed and all people will see it together. The Lord has spoken. Then when we go to Matthew, we hear John the Baptist pretty much saying the same thing. Uh, Matthew 3, verses 1 through 3. In those days, John the Baptist came to the Judean wilderness and began preaching this message. His message was, repent of your sins and turn to God, for the kingdom of heaven is near. The prophet Isaiah was speaking about John when he said, he is a voice shouting in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord is coming, clear the road for him. Let me ask you, what are you preparing for? Are you preparing to go back to work? Are you preparing to go back into um, uh, social gatherings? Are you prepping, are you preparing for a second wave of the coronavirus? Surely we're thinking about things, but what are we preparing for? Why is this important? Uh, let me propose this scripture to you and see if uh, you can find something in it. I did. And this, this scripture is out of Matthew 25, verses one through three. Then the kingdom of heaven will be comparable to 10 virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were prudent. For when the foolish took their lamps, they took no oil with them, but the prudents took oil in flasks along with their lamps. Now, while the bridegroom was delaying, they all got drowsy and began to sleep. But at midnight, there was a shout, behold, the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all those virgins rose and trimmed their lamps. The foolish said to the prudent, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the prudent answered, No, there will not be enough for us and you too. Go instead to the dealers and buy some for yourself. And while they were going away to make the purchase, the bridegroom came. And those who were ready went in with him to the wedding feast, and the door was shut. Later, the virgins also came, saying, Lord, Lord, open up for us. But he answered, Truly I say to you, I do not know you. Be on the alert then, for you do not know the day and the hour. Now, these uh, five foolish virgins, they didn't bring oil, they didn't bring enough wick. And when the bridegroom came back, they were out buying stuff and they, they missed the wedding feast. The doors were closed. They didn't have the provisions they needed. They weren't physically or spiritually prepared. So let me ask you again, during this day and age, what are you preparing for? What are you laying up? And is it for here on earth or is it for in heaven? Just something to chew on. This is John DeLuca wishing you a very blessed week.